Hey guys, welcome to another underperforming video on YouTube. Today, I'm going to share with you my experience selling our car to CarMax. I recently ordered a Tesla Model Y Performance and I needed to get rid of our RX350 to make room for the new car. In this video, I'm going to tell you how much CarMax gave me for our car, why didn't we try to sell it to a private party which will allow us to get more money for it, and why I chose CarMax although they offer me less Yes, less money than Tesla did for it. Are you ready? Let's go. There goes our beloved 2018 Lexus RS350. We're gonna take it to CarMax and we're gonna dump it for a check. And then they're gonna pay the bank and we're gonna be left with about a thousand dollars if everything goes right. They quoted me about a thousand dollars more than what I that we owe in the car. And even though they offered us a hundred dollars less than Tesla for it. We decided to go with CarMax. I'm gonna tell you why. Selling a car can be a headache. I've sold many cars to private parties, which means that you sell it to a person directly. One advantage of this is that you can get a lot more than you would get from a dealership trading offer or selling it to places like CarMax or AutoNations. AutoNation, there's others, but those are the ones I know. The trading value of a car is always lower than the private party average. The listed private party of our Lexus was about 10% higher than that of trading value, meaning that we could have gotten, in our case, over $3,000 more if I would have sold it to an actual person. Why didn't I choose this option? Plain and simple, because I hate selling cars. I have listed many cars on websites such as AutoTrader and Craigslist in the past, and I have dealt with scammers and lowballers, which is when a person offers you less money for the car, hoping that you're dumb or that you're desperate to sell the car or both and i have also dealt with people that have very unreasonable expectations of what a used car is also when you're trying to sell a car to a private party it is expected that you prep the car for sale by detailing it getting the state's certification for emissions if needed and maybe fixing issues that will otherwise lower the value of it in the eyes of the potential interested party I'm talking about things, uh, wear and tear issues such as tires, brakes, pain or body damage that are in need of repair. So as you can see, addressing these issues can cost you, the seller, time and money. Our Lexus was in really good shape. <laughs> if you don't consider a fender bender in the rear passenger door uh, that had metal exposed that needed some body work. Tires had about 10,000 miles to go because the car has 33,500 miles. So I'm guessing that the tires had about maybe 15, 10, 15,000 miles to go. But other than that, it was in really good shape. And when we placed our order for Tesla Model Y, we have the option to trade in our Lexus. So I have had it appraised on the Tesla website and their offer came back at 29,400. A huge advantage is that Tesla offers you the ability to keep driving your Lexus until Tesla delivers your car that you ordered and since tesla is known to sometimes have delays in their deliveries uh, we could have kept driving our lexus until they fulfilled the order model y um, that had an estimated delivery time of one to three weeks at the time so my wife took the wrong exit and i'm going to take this opportunity to tell you why i decided to sell my car to carmax instead of trading it with tesla is because i found that carmax appraisal process is way more accurate as the website is very specific about the conditions of the car. It, it, it will actually ask you details regarding the conditions of the tires, uh, things like uh, damage to body panels, uh, customization. So when CarMax sends you their offer, it is in theory way closer to what the appraiser is gonna encounter once you decide to take your car to the actual CarMax store to have it evaluated in person. Tesla, on the other hand, is very general. Doesn't ask you specific details about the conditions of your car. Um, the website will ask you things to like to provide the VIN number, the mileage, um, overall conditions of the vehicle, general questions, has it been an accident or not? Um, does it need any uh, body work or repairs? Also, while well, CarMax offer came back within a matter of minutes, Tesla took about three business days. I was told by an expert that when Tesla picks up your car, they do an in-person appraisal and they can pinpoint very specific issues that are wrong with your car that could lower their initial offer. Uh, so knowing how the world works, I figured that Tesla's offer, the final offer could only be the same or lower than the initial one. So I just felt that CarMax was more predictable and just better overall for that reason. 
I took my card to CarMax and they confirmed their initial offer of $29,300. So yes, I could have done all the legwork myself in order to potentially get a couple of thousand dollars more for our Lexus, but I just didn't want to deal with it. So while AutoTrader and Craigslist are great places to put your car for sale, you still have to deal with a lot and it is up to you, the seller, to decide if your time is worth that difference. Keep in mind that if you are financing the vehicle that you're trying to sell, there is one more hurdle that you have to clear and it's um, that your bank holds the title to your car. So one option is to pay off the car so that you have the title ready in hand for the new buyer or for the, for the buyer. But if you cannot afford to pay it off, then you can also meet with the buyer at your bank so that he can pay it off to your bank right there and then. Option two is if the buyer is financial, financial if the buyer is financing this vehicle, you can meet him at his bank so that he, so that his bank pays off your financial institution and also they do all the transaction paperwork for you. Again, all this can be avoided by taking your car to places like CarMax, which is exactly what we did. One thing I would like to mention is that we were very impressed and pleased with the simplicity of the process. We took my appraisal confirmation number and we got in line for about three minutes and the clerk took uh, some more information from us and told me that it would be about an hour. My wife uh, waited for me in the car while, we, while I tried to get us some coffee in the meantime. So they're appraising my car right now. And I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get some coffee for the wife. And the only concern that I have is that I listed everything on my car. And they asked me if you needed tires and I'm not a tire expert. So I said that it didn't. It's got 33,000 miles. I'll say those tires are about 40,000 miles. So maybe he needs tires, at least two. And that may drop the appraisal to $200. So as long as I'm not underwater, I'm gonna go with it. Just because I'm already committed with the Tesla. So I'll let you know. Oh no. And within, I say 40, 45 minutes, the clerk called me back uh, that my paperwork was ready to be signed and uh, we were out of there with the check. We actually owe less than what CarMax gave me for it, so we walked out with the check for the difference, which I'm probably gonna blur. Just sold my car to CarMax. I was, uh, I was happy with the transaction, it's pretty quick. I didn't have an appointment, but I did have a quote, an online quote. So it is speeded up the process. I walked in, dropped, it, uh, dropped off my key and my confirmation number, and then they just took care of the rest. So that's it, now I'm gonna go place my order for our next car, which is gonna be the Tesla Model Y Performance. I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's a lot of money, but I like cars. So I gotta do what I gotta do. I like, I like driving nice cars, and the Tesla Model Y is one that I really like, and I'm pretty excited about the next stage in my life. I'll probably be uploading videos about it too. Um, my advice to you is that if you need to sell your car and you have the time and patience to sell it to a private party, do so to get more money for your vehicle. But if you're a person that values convenience, then consider CarMax as I think they offer you a fair price for your car and the process is very simple and worry-free. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions regarding this process, uh, just leave them in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.